caching. So coding loop coding presents caching. Let's get started. Even before explaining the core concepts, let's see what happened in 2020. So 2020, as you know, is was a corona year and corona is still there in the society. So what measures did we take during these corona times? Let's talk about that. I'll, I'll try how can we draw analogy of caching in using this corona example. And during the early inception of corona, I remember uh, my mother came to me and told me that uh, Sanjit, uh, go and buy groceries and let's stock a lot of them at our home. So that every time if there's some need, we don't have to explicitly go out to the supermarket and get those. Rather, we can utilize the stored ones for a longer period of time, which made absolute sense. And I think most of you would have done that so as to reduce your out trips. And so I went to the supermarket and I got the groceries. What my mother did was she kept few of them in the kitchen and the remaining ones in the storeroom. So that uh, whenever it's, there's a need, in the kitchen, if the groceries exhaust, she can get it from the store. Otherwise, it has to be that I have to travel to the supermarket and get it. So now, my anyone working in the kitchen operates in this manner. First of all, uh, let's check in the kitchen itself whether we have that item or not. If that item is there, then well and good. We found the item, we'll utilize it. If it is not there, then we will go and check it in the storeroom. So let's enter the storeroom, which is obviously uh, very close to your house or at times inside your house itself. So you, know, you go inside your storeroom, get those groceries, place it in the kitchen, and you also utilize uh, whatever is needed. In case, both of, uh, from both of these places, the, the item is exhausted. What you have to do, you have to go out of the house, step out, drive your vehicle and go to the supermarket, get the items and place it in the kitchen as well as the storeroom. So if you understood what, uh, if you understood this much, then you understood caching. How? Let's see the magic. So let's replace the supermarket by the database. Let's replace the storeroom by the external cache and mother is acting as the application server who is the controller. So this is the application server. And next we have kitchen. So kitchen is acting as in-memory of the application server. So in-memory storage of the application server. And food can be replaced by data. So food gets replaced by data. So how the application server behaves, it tries to find data in the in, in its own memory inside the application server. And if it is if if it, if it if the data is found, that's well and good. Continue the processing, whatever the server was doing. If it is not there, then it will communicate with the external cache, which in this case is the storeroom or the actual external cache that could be Redis, a man cache or any uh, external cache that you can have in your system and this complete is acting as a caching layer. So if the data is not in these two places then the application server will need to establish connection with the database and get that information from the database. So it will query the database and once it will query the database, it, it can it will push the information back into the cache and uh, put, will also place this information in the application memory. And the policies that could be used for the cache eviction is the LRU cache, the least recently used, that is the most common one. However, it is case to case dependent. I'll talk about it uh, in some other video, but not today. Let's understand what is caching. So, so caching is basically storing the information somewhere instead of the database so as to reduce the call to the database. And 
in these external caches the information is stored in ram so so the querying time is less therefore it reduces the overhead to actually communicate to the database and get that information from there so these two i entries the in memory uh, of the application server and the cache is external cache is actually two different kinds of a caching layer that we have in the system so let's talk about the pros and cons of a uh, caching why do we need caching so caching is needed for faster processing and how will it cause faster processing because if you are able to retrieve data quickly rather than querying onto the database and what benefits you will get the application will be will be able to process more information that means the throughput increases the response time comes down of your application server and uh, it becomes faster faster means uh, more apis that it can serve and it can respond to customer queries quick, quickly what disadvantages do you have to pay you have to shell out money for it so i hope the concept uh, you got the concept and i'm looking for some feedback on the video since it's my first video hope you enjoyed it and please do comment in the section so that i get to know where i have to improve and if you liked it please like the video